The school's environmental club has revamped the cafeteria's trash system to include recycling and composting centers. Now we have three stations set up. We have one for recycling, trash, and then our main station is composting, and that is where 80% of our used to be trash now goes to composting. Usually they come from right to left, trash is on the right, recycling in the middle, compost on the left. It's a actually fairly easy way to do something very good. It's like a very impactful thing, but it takes very little effort. I don't think a lot of people realize that. It's going pretty well. There's a bit of a disparity between kids who kind of get it right away by looking at the posters and kids who need to be guided, but between um, the posters and the people they're actually helping, I think we can get everyone to put their trash where it belongs. So during lunch, I just stand in front of the bins and make sure that those kids who don't get it right away from the posters or don't automatically know, know where to put it. So I'll stand there and guide them on where to throw their trash and uh, where to put their recyclables and things like that. From here, the compostable items get picked up by Missouri Organic and it really adds up. It's pretty interesting. Um, I've noticed that we've saved quite a bit of composting versus the trash. And I was really amazed at the, the amount of composting that we saved the first day. So how much cafeteria trash does Taylor think is actually getting diverted to compost? I would say tons of, tons a week, easily, very easily. I think it's very important, and I think that eventually, over time, I think it's just going to get better and better. Our numbers are, per school, it's about 12 to 15 tons a year of usable materials get kept out of the landfill. So that by itself is a really big thing. Environmental Club sponsor Doug Moles also notices a difference. There was a lot of material that was either compostable or recyclable that instead was going into the trash. So the kids are doing a really good job of taking all that material that normally would go into a landfill and putting into our compost bin, which Missouri Organics will take and in a matter of 12 to 16 weeks convert it back into nutrient-rich soil. So that's good says using a professional composting company allows the school to convert even more organic waste. In your backyard you could do apple cores, banana peels, stuff like that. Here you can do milks and cheeses and, and plates and napkins and stuff like that. And so they process it in a really big facility. Some of their what are called windrows are even as big as the school is wide. It's a very big process and through um, the breakdown of the organic material or the paper and the food, it turns into compost. Environmental Club members say helping the environment doesn't have to stop at the cafeteria door. It's easy to compost at home too, again, and just making sure you turn your lights off and making sure your faucets are running and stuff like that. Little things help. Having people think about their trash, where things go, because everything comes from somewhere and everything has to end up somewhere. So it, it you know, raises a new generation to think about where is this going to go if I throw it away or compost it or recycle it. And so it allows that educational opportunity as well.